if you are a nurse and you want to go and work in abroad these questions are asked in interview and you have to answer these questions effectively so that you can crack the interview very easily okay so i will tell you what are the questions that are commonly asked and how you have to answer it properly if you are trying for saudi or oman or if you are even trying for any english speaking countries like if you are writing oet or ielts also these questions are asked in the basic rounds i am only going to discuss about the oral questions that are going to ask to you okay first one will be the common question but most of us don't know how to frame the sentences and answer it properly so i will tell you it an answer if you want you can just write it down okay so now we will talk about the questions one by one and please listen to it keenly and if you have not seen the nursing interview part 1 it is also uploaded in our youtube channel please go and check it out you will get the idea of what kind of test are there like three phases of test are there paper pen test and computer based test and viva questions and oski those things are completely explained the first common question is tell us about yourself so you will be starting as i am or my name is okay so i am a uh, priya for example i am priya and i have been a registered nurse for 2 years i have experience working in surgical icu and i am passionate in providing quality patient care and my hobbies are listening to music like this you have to answer for example first you will be telling your name then you have to tell that you are a registered nurse and you have how much of experience then next point will be where is your experience in which area like surgical or medical or neuro wards or icus like that you will be specifically telling that then you have to tell like you love to give the patient care like that you will be telling something about that and you have to finish with your hobbies then at last only you will have to say about your family like you can tell my father is uh, doing this and my mother is a homemaker and i have one or two brothers whatever you have to tell it in the least priority don't come and tell about your family in the first itself it is not necessary in a nursing interview the next main question that is asked in a nursing interview is why did you choose nursing or why did you choose to become a nurse for this you have to answer i became a nurse because i have always had a strong desire to help people nursing allows to make a positive impact on, on the lives and you can provide direct care and help them directly this is the reason that i wanted to become a nurse okay like you want to give a patient care so that you have become a nurse like that you will have to answer this question question number 3 the third question will be can you describe your experience with a specific medical condition so we have told already we have experience in some ward or some icu so regarding that if you have any experience tell me like that they will ask you have to tell yeah i do have some experience if you say i don't have any experience it is not a good impression okay so you have to answer yeah i have some experiences and i will share like that you have to tell and then you have to start i'll tell you for an example and you can make your own things i had extensive experiences working in specific area for example sicu and dealing with post operative patients i am experienced in minimizing the patient suffering and pain i also receive additional training and education regarding pain assessment and cpr so what you are telling here is you are telling like in what you are very specialized you are special in wa- giving what kind of care and whether you have any specific education or special degrees like icn or pain assessment nurse there are many courses if you hold some degree like that you can also tell about that degree in this question okay so specifically you can say about some disease conditions now we will move on to the fourth question the fourth question will be how to handle difficult patients or difficult situations they are asking this situation to analyze your behavior towards the patients so you have to be very careful while answering these kind of questions okay now let's answer this question you have to answer like when dealing with difficult patients or difficult situations i try to remain empathetic and calm i listen to their concerns if necessary i will also consult with my other healthcare professional 
to ensure that the patient is receiving the best possible care if you are answering this way they cannot cross question you or they cannot assume you wrong in any way this is a perfect answer for this question okay so you'll be uh, stating that i will first analyze their situation and i will be calm and i will listen to them this will uh, denote your listening skill and then you are telling that i will go to the other health care professionals and make sure the patient is comfortable and he is getting good care this is the answer you are providing for this question the fifth question is how will you ensure the patient safety and confidentiality as we all nurses know patient safety and confidentiality is related to medico legal issues so we have to answer very properly the answer will be patient safety and confidentiality are crucial aspect in nursing to ensure patient safety i adhere to all protocols and guidelines maintain a clean and hygienic environment and practice proper hand hygiene so in this answer should be told in two parts they are asking about safety and confidentiality first we are telling about safety for safety you have to tell you are following all the protocols and guidelines and maintaining the ward and the patient environment clean and uh, pro- doing the hand washing properly okay the next thing will be confidentiality next we will answer for confidentiality we will tell i protect the patient information by maintaining their privacy storing medical records safely and using password protected systems for electronic records i will also follow the hipaa regulations and report any breaches or violation so we have to know about hipaa hipaa means health insurance portability and accountability act okay this is related to insurance in that cases also we have to be uh saving the information of the patient and we should not leak it out it should be confidential okay so these are the interview questions and if you know all these things you can crack any abroad interview very easily and if you want part 2 of this inter- uh, interview based questions please do comment thank you and subscribe to my channel